Hey boys and girls, welcome to Art Recycled with Mrs. Hollemeyer. Today we are going to learn something really fun. We're going to learn how to make an animated movie with the app called Stop Motion. Now, if you're in District 196 or at Deerwood Elementary, you want to download this app Stop Motion from the self-service menu on your iPad. And what we're going to learn how to do is we're going to learn how to make Lego animations in particular. Most of you have Legos at home, but don't worry if you don't have Legos at home, you can do this project with any type of small toy figurine. So think toy cars, toy dolls, anything small that you can think of um, to make your animation. And all it is is you're going to make these little figurines move little by little and take snapshots or pictures in the app. And then the app speeds up the video and it will put them all together into an animated movie. Now, boys and girls, your animated movie can also have a voiceover, basically where you're narrating what's happening in the movie. So you can record your voice, kind of like I'm about to show you, and tell your viewer what they're seeing. Our players greet each other and Nelson takes the ball, he shoots, it is blocked. Krasinski takes the ball, shoots, and scores. So boys and girls, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to tap that self-service app, which you see circled there. Tap that and download Stop Motion. Once you've done that, tap Stop Motion, that blue square with the white camera, and then tap New Movie, the black square with the white plus. Once you've done that, your camera is going to pop up, and now you can start shooting your pictures for your animated film. So boys and girls, you see that big red button over there to the right? That's going to be your camera shot button. So position your characters the way you want to start your story, and then you're going to tap that button, and it's going to take a photo. Now when you take a photo, and that photo is going to show up down at the bottom, boys and girls, beneath my characters. See it there down at the bottom? Now what you want to do is you slowly want to move your characters so that it looks like the next picture has them moving a little bit. So this guy's going to shoot a goal on the other one. I'm going to move him up a little bit and have his toe touch the tire, take another picture. Then I'm going to have him move a little bit more and this guy's going to move backwards and then I'm going to take another picture. And you're going to keep doing that, boys and girls, moving your characters little by little and then keep taking pictures. Now, animation is a system of patience, boys and girls. So it takes a little bit of patience to do this because you can only move them a little bit at a time. So keep doing that. Keep moving, snapping, moving, snapping, and see your pictures build down at the bottom. Now, I'm going to take about 10 to 15 pictures maybe for this animation. As you can see, I keep moving and snapping. And then you can press the play button and see how your movie looks as you play all the pictures back together in an animated film. Now, boys and girls, I only need like maybe a 10 to 20 second video from you, which would probably be good with maybe 20, 25 pictures, okay? Now I'm gonna show you how to change the speed of your movie. Tap the gear that you just saw me tap down there and then tap inside of that a timer. It's the thing that you see right now in that white square. You're gonna see a number line. If you move your finger along that number line and you move it to a higher number, your movie is going to play faster. So right now I'm at eight and I'm gonna press done. And now I'm gonna press play here in a minute and you're gonna see my movie moves quite quickly. Now, if I want to slow the movie down, I can go back, press that gear again, go to the timer, and move the number line down to say maybe two. When I move it down to two, now I'll press play. You can see that my movie is going to move much, much slower. I realize some of you would make me a five minute movie if you could. Just remember, I don't need that. I just want a 10 to 20 second animation. And again, you're probably taking maybe 20 to 30 pictures to do that, boys and girls, and moving your little characters. So now I'm going to show you another trick. You can also record your voice over your movie. So you see me there, I adjusted my speed to four. So now, if you want to record your voice over your movie, like I'm doing right now with this one, there is a tool where you can do that. Do you see there's an arrow all the way to the left? Look to the right of that arrow, and there's a microphone. Now you have to be on the first picture in your movie to be able to use the microphone. So tap that microphone, and you see there is a record button, and you can record your voice. Now that record button will only let you record to the end of your movie, the last picture. Once you hit that last picture, boys and girls, it will cut off your voice. The last special effect, boys and girls, I'm going to show you here in stop motion is how to change your movie to black and white if you want to. If you want to do that, press the gear at the bottom and then press the three circles that you see overlapping. You see you can change the color of your video. 
So you can tap black and white and change it to a black and white movie. If you tap one of the fun looking ones with the blue lock that's next to it, that's not going to work. So to use those special effects, you have to be in the updated version and you're going to get this window. It's going to want you to pay $5. We can't do that on your school issue iPad. If you have your own iPad, you could totally do that. So your only option is black and white or color. You go back to color by pressing the white slash that you see to the left of black and white. And that's the last thing I really have to show you. And now I'm going to show you how to upload your video to your photos so that you can put it in Seesaw and Schoology. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to see an arrow. See there all the way to the left? Tap that arrow and it's going to bring you back to this screen that shows all of the movies that you've made. Once you're at this screen showing all your movies, you want to press select up in the upper right. So tap that and then tap the movie you want to send to me and it's going to select it with a blue check. Once you see that blue check, then hit the square with the arrow pointing up, that's up to the left, and you want to tap the first one in that list. It says Export Movie. Once you've tapped Export Movie, boys and girls, the first option, you're going to get a window that looks like this, boys and girls, and it's going to say Save Video. That's what you want. Save Video, not Seesaw. Once you've hit save video, hit the circle home button on your iPad. Find the photos app, the one with the flower, and then you should see your video down there at the bottom. You can tap on it and play it. Now it's saved to your iPad. To send your video to me in Seesaw, go back to the assignment in Seesaw, tap add response, then tap upload the cloud with the arrow pointing up, tap your video, and then press the green check. Kids who are in Schoology, I know you're really used to sending photos and videos to me, so I don't think I have to go through that. But if any of you are having any trouble, please email me, message me in Seesaw or Schoology and we'll figure it out. You may have to give Seesaw and Schoology permission to see all your photos and you would do that in settings by just tapping settings, scrolling down to Schoology and Seesaw, tapping photos, tap all photos, and then they'll be able to see everything in your photos bank.